please let me see why man. There once was a Tots Tap Soba card. Ridiculous stats, nickname is Taps. Day number two with no Tots Whammon. Danny's in his room with a bat. Please let me see why man. Oh, when the Taps Tots come, Valentino Lazaro is really fun. Oh, when the Taps Tots come, Z8, please release Whammon Gatoos tomorrow. Well, there's two certainties in life. One, Frickin' love Duncan guy. Two. Please let me see why my- Women Gatook still hasn't got himself that U23 SBC. For the love of God, EA, it would be the perfect Sunday content. Imagine waking up on a Sunday after two really great Bundesliga Team of the Season SBCs come out in the form of this Edmund Tapsoba and the Valentino Lazaro. Two guys that have absolutely incredible ga uh, incredible names as well. A Women Gatooks. Can we make this the dynamic pick for the for the U23 Women Gatooks? Full second, boys, and welcome to the 92 team of the season, Edmund Tapsoba and the 88, I believe, Valentino Lazaro, two of the most, two of the coolest SBCs that we've seen in quite some time. Uh, the Valentino, the Valentino Lazaro I'll get to in a few moments, but the main uh, SBC today, the guy that really pops off is the guy who had himself a really, really crazy Future Stars card and now gets an SBC valued around 300,000 coins. But I would go so far as to say in terms of fun players to use, I think Bundesliga has been the league that has been rewarded uh, with fun players that you can use uh, uh, at this stage in the game. So I'm really, really excited for it. Smash like if you guys think the Lazaro is a cool card. Smash like if you're going to get this Tap Soba done. They're both here for about five days. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Smash like on the video if you guys want this. Women get tooks, so Danny Aarons stops crying and stands in the middle of his room with that damn baseball bat. Please let me see why, man. Edmund Tap Soba, obviously a ridiculous, ridiculous card. Massive upgrade over his Future Stars card. Comes in at around 300,000 coins and 6'4", uh, medium high. And the stats pretty much speak for themselves. With the Sentinel Chem style, uh, which I gone ahead uh, with the shadow chem style he goes up to 95 acceleration 99 sprint speed he's got shot power he's even got a little bit of finishing to be honest with you he's got 68 finishing so if he's inside the box he's not i don't know how he's going to get to the box with that 34 attack positioning but he's pretty decent in terms of uh having obviously 93 shot power 99 short passing 99 long shots means that you're gonna be able to complete pretty much any shot on the uh any pass on the pitch dribbling stats he's got 86 agility most importantly he's got 99 reactions the combination how reactions and defensive awareness interacts with on a center back card is the most important important stat in the, uh, on a card. Uh, 93 defensive awareness. Every defending stat is 91 plus, uh, and then he's got 92 strength with a cheeky 96 aggression with 86 stamina as well, uh, and has the power header trait to, to boot. Now, Lazaro, Valentino Lazaro, 5-star skill moves, 3-star weak foot, has 99 acceleration with 95 sprint speed, has finishing, has shooting stats, like legitimately 93 attack and positioning, potent finishing stats, passing stats, uh, I suppose we could get those jacked off a little bit, dribbling stats for days, everything is pretty much max, uh, everything is pretty much over 90, uh, and then he's got defending that goes up to 99 interceptions, goes up to 99 defensive awareness, over, uh, over 90 standing tackle, over 90 uh, sliding tackle, and then we obviously want to get that aggression up to 91, strength goes up to uh, 87, and then stamina comes in. In at uh, 87 as well with the flare trait to boot. So uh, this is what the Bundesliga squad is looking like right now, boys. We're trying out Erling today. Uh, we are also, uh, like I said, uh, put the uh, put the Bender brothers in there. Haven't switched the squad up too much. Wanted to test these guys out. The the combination of Tapsoba and Valentino Lazaro. But this right here is pretty much guaranteeing that I'm going to get this uh, I'm going to get this card on the RTG. The fact that you can get that green link between Sven and Topsobo, in my opinion, the best center back duo in all of Ultimate Team. We're going to go back again, dip into the uh, Max Cruz Pond, and then obviously our boy Erling Haaland. So we're going to queue up the Kaigo U soundtrack. And I mean, what else needs to be said? 99 finishing, 99 composure, agility for days goes up to 99 dribbling with the uh, engine chem style and has 99 strength and 96, uh, 96 aggression. So without any further ado, boys, let's get into match number one with arguably the best center back in all of FIFA 21, easily the best center back in the Bundesliga, not named Sven Bender. Match from one, Los Gates. Huh? Yeah, you know what I want for my birthday? You know what I, you know what I want for my 28th birthday? I, I want this Wayman in Katooks, please. For, dude, okay, it's not even Tapsoba. Tapsoba's uh, putting, uh, blasting a little bit of snot out of his mouth. Yo, he's, dude, he's got sick hair too. You shit! Yes, chef, I am. Man's got, man's got five-star skill moves. Can we send him on a run? They like Erling Haaland. The thing with Erling Haaland, right? We're going to do the custom celebration. My freaking guy, dude. Hey, listen, he's packed on a little bit more muscle mass, EA, so we got to make sure that his arms, his arms looking a little bit lanky there, man. He, he's actually bulked up. If you can't put some definition on those muscles, his, his dynamic pick is coming for you, bro. Okay, Val Val Yo, Valentino Lazaro, bro. Not acceleration, look at this.
Can we say, um, I know a lot of people are focusing on this Edmund Topsoba as like the main, as the main guy today, right? And like the team of the, I agree, the team of the season moments uh, card design is nowhere near as smexy as the actual team of the season one. But this, this Valentino Lazaro looks legitimately like one of the most cracked cards in the game. What am I seeing? Valentino Lazaro. He just he just envelops you. How is that ref, how is that a foul, my guy? Whoa. People think I'm kidding when I say Sven Bender's an absolute goat. He's got... Look at him. The Erling, the Erling body faint. 3-0. It would have been nice if he got at least the four-star skill move treatment. Like, maybe five-star weak... Uh, maybe, maybe, like, five-star weak foot, right? Um, they've done it with other cards. They did it with uh, Lewandowski. They gave him the five-star weak foot, and I think this guy might be out. Th th this might th this might have been a little bit too much. You Dude, you see an Edmund oh, Tapsoba. What am I seeing? See, the craziest thing about Erling is you can do the left analog stick dribbling, boys. You can do the left analog stick dribbling with Erling. That's the beautiful thing about his card. He's a big man, but you can actually move quite silkily. Pelota para Gino Silva. Edmund Tapsoba. Valentino Lazaro. Busquets. Nope. Got him. What am I seeing? Look at Edmund Tapsoba. Valentino Lazaro. And there you have it, boys. Erling's going to go in for his Hattie. Got himself, what is it, three or four goals? Went ahead, five total attempts, three total, uh, three goals. Plays very much like his, uh, plays very much like the team of the season card that he had last year. Uh, again, super tall, has his unique little, uh, has his unique body type, and is able to do that thing, even though he is three star, three star, um, is able to move around, uh, very silkily with his, uh, dribbling stats. Valentino, uh, Valentino Lazaro coming in with a goal, scored an absolute jammer, provided an assist as well, and then, uh, Edmund Tapsoba with three out of five tackles, one, and then Lazaro with one out of one tackles, one. So a very, very solid, uh, performance. Valentino Lazaro. See again, maybe with a weak foot. Maybe with a weak foot he puts that in the back of the net. Tony Cross. Erling Braut Haaland. Douglas Costa. That's peak Erling Haaland. That's just that's what that's just what you're gonna get from an Erling Haaland card. Estamos ante un nuevo encuentro de Division Rivals. Este partido será una maravilla. O la verdad que la segunda parte de la jornada deportiva es... Crush opponents into submission. Erling Braut Haaland. Costa. Love that. He moved his keeper. Doesn't matter though. Douglas Costa is going to go and he's going to bang that in anyway. Absolutely. If my opponent was a little bit quicker, he probably could have gotten it through to be honest. Power header. Let's go, boys. Yeah, there's Edwin Taps again. Again, a, a good a good defender, whether it be center back or defender, has this ability to kind of like suction the ball uh, into their into their atmosphere. If that makes sense. Like if there, imagine a player has like an orbit. The really good defenders just uh, the ball just orbits. The the ball comes off the attacker as you get closer. You don't sometimes you don't even need to press uh, circle for the challenge. There's taps on, on team of the season, Hyungman Son. Yeah, it's not even an issue. Face. And the cheeky Erling Haaland chip has the unique body type. We're going to make it 3 0, and that should be uh, that should be game. Tap Soba. Erling Haaland. 
He's, dude, he's got this. Yeah, it, it, like literally the, the, the left analog stick dribbling as it was last year. Um, but the, the man just moves. And I, I got to tell you, this Valentino Perez is maybe the most fun I've had using a card in the game. All right, what's that pace look like? Valentino Perez getting up in the air. Val Valentino Perez. Am I combining Valentino Perez and Fiorentino Perez? <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can cause a rage quit with a defender. For, okay, listen, I'm not even sure how that goes in, if I'm being honest with you. Man, like, dare I say it, Valentino, Va um, Valentino Lazaro has been super, super impressive. I don't want to say, like, that he's overshadowed uh, Edmund Tapsoba, because Edmund Tapsoba is obviously insane. Um, but he's been... Valentino Lazaro has been ridiculous for us, like, super, super consistent. Both in the attacking and also in the defensive, like, he doesn't let anything by him. He's, he's, he's got a little bit of that, uh, of that Edmund Tapsoba... Um, see? That's what I'm talking about. And then there's Erling Haaland with his attack and positioning. Valentino Lazaro goes ahead. Um, what do we have for tackles? Six out of seven tackles completed for Tapsoba, man. Unit. So for about 300,000 coins for Edmund Tapsoba, you could make the argument he is the best Bundesliga uh, center back not named uh, Sven Bender. Uh, for that reason, even at the 300,000 coins, I got to give him four out of five. I love this Future Stars card, and he just reinforced what I felt uh, with that card with an even more jacked off card and a, more, uh, and a card that can hang with some of the crazier cards that we have out now. So four out of five in terms of value. In terms of on-the-pitch performance, I got to give the man a four out of five as well. Again, I don't like giving perfect ratings, so I'm going to give him the dual four out of fours on the Infinity Gauntlet. Literally, again, it's, it's very simple for me as a, uh, with, defend with defenders, whether it's CDM or center back, any player that's able to absorb players into their atmosphere and then just like dispossess the ball. Ideally, they maintain control of the ball, but uh, any player that's able to dispossess an attacker very easily where you're not try having to try too hard is a player that I really, really like uh, in FIFA 21 and Edmund Tapsoba passes that test. Now, a guy who also passes that test is this uh, Valentino Lazaro. Now, for 115,000 coins, I am also going to give him a 4 to 5 on the Infinity Gauntlet in terms of value. I am also going to give him a 4 to 5 in terms of on the pitch performance a super super fun card uh to use at this stage of the game five star skill moves is as good in the attack as he is defending which is a pretty nuts thing to say probably could play him uh bring him on as a super sub as a midfielder or if you have a marcel sabitzer like i did which i packed in my 84 by uh 84 plus times 20 pack uh, i am going to complete this card with whatever fodder i get from uh, bundesliga upgrade so hopefully we get that 81 plus pp upgrade pack tomorrow and uh that is pretty much gonna do it boys a, a pretty solid day of content nothing really in terms of upgrade packs but two really really good players in terms of Tapsoba and then also the uh, Valentino Lazaro. You guys let me know if there's any other cards you guys would like me to try out. We, we tried out Erling Haaland and pretty much how what, what his card was last year is pretty much the same one as this year. Again, really, really crazy agility. Doesn't have skill moves um, and you kind of do have to rely on his left foot, but it's not too difficult to line that up once you're inside the box. But for those of you guys that don't like having to do that, uh, I suppose he's maybe a swerve for you guys, but an incredible, incredible card and an even better dynamic pick. But that's going to do it for the episode, boys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, Smash like on the episode. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I'll catch you guys for another one tonight. Catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Adios.